top 10 creepiest places in the usa i'm actually interested to check this video out see what we got and yeah check out some creepy places in america man warning avoid the following places if you value your life ah uh, United... you guys gotta let me know in the comment section before we get into this right are you guys from these places are you nearby let me know and also real quick i have a p.o box set up it's in the description and on my channel i'm gonna be doing p.o box opening videos very soon so if you guys want to join in with that have some fun send some things for me to open you can do but yeah let's jump straight back into this states is full of creepy towns you know those places where the people are weird and the vibes just feel off but while you might think the uh. most chilling parts of america are all in the middle of nowhere a lot are actually much closer than you probably thought and you know what these look like they could be good games fact oh there's a ghost behind bro why no 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 no, no. why is he just done that why is he oh i hate horror things on you oh just kidding ghosts don't actually exist what do you dare question my existence i am the ghost of youtube now get okay. on with the video. I am looking for a new city with a great ghost community. Nice. Uh, okay. Dang, maybe they are real. The reported haunted happenings aren't oh, the wow. only reason you should steer clear of these places at all costs. From gruesome murders to abandoned buildings. Oh, wait, you know what? It's a good job I'm not recording this at night, but you know what would be a good idea? I don't know if you guys would like it. If I react to like some horror things, like proper scary things. I don't know why I'm saying this because I hate horror, right? So like, oh, it, it scares the absolute crap out of me. But it might be funny for you guys so much, so let me know. Buildings to cults and even serial killers. The cities and towns on this list are unsettling to say the least. Right. So if you're a tourist with an affinity for the supernatural, a ghost, or just interested in seeing how horrifying parts of America can be, oh. these are the top 10 creepiest places in the United States. <laughs> I don't know Number if I'm ready, bud. Galveston, Texas. There is a reason Galveston Texas? is often called a cemetery with a beach attached. In 1885, the island was the largest and richest city in Texas, the second biggest immigration port in the country, oh, and wow. well on its way to becoming the next Manhattan. That is, until the Galveston hurricane of 1900, which was actually the worst natural disaster in U.S. history. Huh? It decimated the town and destroyed the bridges to the mainland, leaving thousands stranded on the island. Only wow. to perish in the ensuing floods and storm surge. Between six and 12,000 people died altogether, with many of their bodies being buried wherever they were found, resulting in the city, which was almost entirely rebuilt, being constructed upon thousands of corpses. Strange. Oh, no way. Bro, that's mad. Actually enough, some of the island's historic mansions survived relatively unscathed. Their long, empty hallways now the site of many reports of ghostly figures and disembodied footsteps, voices, and music. Now, I've been to Galveston. Okay, bro, this is how you know I get scared, right? Just that scene right there, my hair started standing on the back of my neck. Great. <laughs> yeah. It's been a few times, and even if you don't believe in the paranormal, many parts of the island just feel off. Perhaps due to the countless... Bro, that boat's massive. Yo, that ship's massive. Don't believe in the paranormal. Many parts of the island just feel off. What? Bro, this is huge. Perhaps due to the countless cemeteries and empty plots of land, large vacant Victorian buildings, and old decaying infrastructure. Number nine, Baltimore, Maryland. Upon arrival, Baltimore. it isn't surprising that the Ouija board was invented here or why Edgar Allan Poe chose to call Baltimore home. Most okay. of the city just has this strange feeling in the air. And really? it's not only due to its reputation as one of the most dangerous places in America. Yeah, isn't Baltimore the place where they call Body Mall? So I can, I can, I can see uh, why it would be creepy. Countless tragic events have played out on Baltimore's historic streets over the past 300 years. And when you learn the horrific history of many of the sites that still stand today, such as Fort McHenry, where hundreds were killed during the War of 1812 and more were executed during the Civil War, suddenly oh. all of the drugs, gangs, and crime seem like a walk in the park. Okay, <laughs> that probably wasn't the best choice of words, because you should <laughs> definitely avoid taking a walk in Leakin Park, where over 80 deaths dead bodies have been found and speaking of dead bodies oh no 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 bro i feel like when i get over to america i feel like you guys need to like give me a list of places not to go because like what if i actually accidentally like, stumble across that park right where 80 dead bodies have been that's mad the westminster hall and 
Over 80 dead bodies have been found. And speaking of dead bodies, the Westminster Hall and Burying Ground, featuring the grave of Edgar Allan Poe, is a place shrouded in mystery. On Poe's birthday, every year from the 1940s until 2009, a mysterious black-cloaked figure would appear at his grave and leave three roses. Their identity still unknown to this day. Medical what? students from the nearby University of Maryland, Baltimore, also reportedly dug up and stole bodies from these catacombs to use for their experiments. But what? of the hundreds of creepy locations in the city, perhaps none are as unsettling as Fells Point, a neighborhood full of uncanny locations Poe once frequented, and where he was found unconscious in the gutters, wearing someone else's clothes shortly before his mysterious death. Number 8. Fall River. Oh, I'm staying clear away from these, man. I'm staying clear. Massachusetts. Lizzie Borden took an axe and gave her mother 40 wax. When she saw what she had done, she gave her father 41. If that sends shivers down your spine, then no, it's not just an eerie rhyme. It tells the tale of Lizzie Borden brutally murdering her parents in their Fall River family home in 1892. Without enough evidence to be proven guilty, Lizzie walked free. What? Spent the rest of her days living in the very town where she had committed her treacherous crime. Oh, hell no, I'll be moving. Oh, hell no. You hear somebody's murdered their own family, bro, and got free? I'm moving. I'm out of that town. See you in a bit. Bye. But the sinister past the Fall River runs even deeper than this. From countless deaths during King Philip's War to the ghost of a Native American man named Abram who was forced to jump from a 40-foot rock in 1675, the surrounding forests are riddled with darkness. Even as recently as the 1980s, a satanic cult... <laughs> Yo, listen, I can't do horror things, man. I, like, like, I could watch a movie, but I have to be with someone. Do you know what I mean? But, like, bro, see, seeing that forest, I played way too many horror games. I've been jumped at too many times. Murdered multiple women here. And many hikers, even as recently as the 1980s, a satanic cult murdered multiple women here. And many hikers with no prior knowledge of the events have reported hearing the victims' names whispered in the woods. Mm. Number seven, Hell San nah. Francisco, California. Despite its modernization, the- Wait, San Francisco, California? Creepiest place? Gloomy mist that shrouds one of California's oldest cities remains the same. What was once a lawless town of gold fever and devious robber barons is now a city of cryptocurrency and digital tycoons. Right. But no matter how hard it tries, San Francisco cannot erase its troubling history of torture, cults, race riots, suicides, and even serial killers. Wow. Take Angel Island, once known as the Ellis Island of the West Coast. Nearly 250,000 immigrants were held here in horrific conditions for months before they could even step foot in San Francisco. Okay. Many died while waiting. Their poems, which are still inscribed in the walls of the barracks, serving as a tragic reminder of all the innocent lives lost. In contrast, it was only the wealthy- Yo, you know those people that do like abandoned place like visits and stuff on camera? Bro, if I ever had to do one, I think I'd be screaming the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> you would never be able to hear anything. Visited Sutro Baths, one of the world's largest indoor swimming pools in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. The building mysteriously burned down in 1966, but the pool and nearby tunnel, which was the site of many human sacrifices, still remain, often what? engulfed in a sea of fog. But of all of San Francisco's creepy locations, oh, from Stowe Lake to the Presidio to the back alleys of Chinatown, Alcatraz is likely the most dubious of them all. Some of the most notorious. Oh, wait, Alcatraz wow. Alcatraz is Alcatraz that close to California? I never knew that. I thought Alcatraz was like an island in the middle of like nowhere. Like, really far out. Not that, that you can see the coast. This is likely the most dubious of them all. Some of the most notorious criminals were held here under appalling conditions. And at least 28 died during the nearly 30 years the prison operated, including eight who were murdered by other inmates. Whether or not you believe in ghosts, it's impossible to avoid the chilling atmosphere if you visit. Oh, that's interesting because, like, yeah, Alcatraz. First of all, I thought it was way bigger. And, like, I thought it was in... Yeah. Yeah. Because was isn't Alcatraz so like designed so if they escape they can't actually escape? I feel like they could swim. Wait, what your life's at stake? I feel like you could swim to the coast there. Or is that a lot bigger than it looks? <laughs> Especially at night. 
Number six, Chicago, Illinois. It was February 14th, 1929, and although Valentine's Day is usually reserved for lovers, Al Capone chose violence. Seven men in a rival gang were lined up and mowed down in what became known as the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. But that that merciless shooting pales in comparison to the horrific events that occurred in the H.H. Holmes murder castle. Home to one of the country's first serial killers, the mansion included stairs that led to nowhere, oddly angled hallways, and windows rooms designed to disorient and trap Holmes's victims, most of whom were what? women he lured from the 1893 World's Fair. He confessed to at least 27 murders, but historians estimate the real number to be over 200. Wow. And while thousands of creepy buildings and sites in the Windy City are plagued with dark histories, the most dreadful tragedies don't involve murder, but rather fire. We've all heard of the Great Chicago Fire of 1871, right. which destroyed a third of the city's structures, killed 300 residents, and left 100,000 homeless. But an even more deadly fire raged out in 1903 at the Iroquois Theater. Over 2,000 theater goers were trapped inside, and many died jumping from the upper floors into the rear alleyway no in an way. attempt to escape the blazes. 602 perished altogether, a third of whom were children. Today, wow. many theater go. Um, this is really interesting, though, because like Chicago and uh, and San Francisco, they've got creepy stories and backstories to them. But like, I know a lot of you guys might be from Chicago, so let me know. Is is it is there still like a creepy feeling in the air or whatnot? Because. That's what I'm expecting with this video. Today, many theater goers and cast members have reported the faint sounds of children laughing and crying, and even feelings of being pushed in the upper rows. Oh, no way. Number five, Charleston, South Carolina. In the early 1700s, Charleston had a pirate problem, but not all were bad. Steed Bonnet, yeah. a wealthy landowner turned pirate, actually paid his crew a fair wage. But his progressive ways soon met their end in 1718, when he and 50 of his men were captured and executed in the White Point Garden. Their bodies left hanging for days as a warning to other transgressors. And that was just the start of Charleston's long, dark history of death, torture, racism, and slavery. The old Charleston jail housed countless convicts, pirates, and Civil War prisoners during the 1800s and was the site of nearly 14,000 executions, including huh? Lavina Fisher, the first female serial killer, and Denmark Vesey, a free man and leader in the black community who was accused Wait, who, first was, female and was, was the was site name? of nearly 14,000 executions, including Lavina Fisher, the first female serial killer, and Denmark Vesey, a free man and leader in the black community who was accused of organizing a slave revolt. But that jail would seem like a five-star resort compared to the appalling conditions of the old exchange in Provost Dungeon, a British prison built underneath a customs house in 1767. Disease was rampant, and some of the POWs, slaves, and pirates who were held here drowned in groundwater seepage or were burned alive. Bro. The historic city is also home to an abundance of creepy overgrown graveyards and reportedly haunted inns. And for the most daring, take a visit to Charleston's old slave mart, the only building still standing today which witnessed the atrocity of human beings being sold goods. I've been once what? before, and it's impossible to not sense an overbearing darkness in the air. Number four, St. Augustine, all- Florida. Today, St. Augustine, in the air. Florida. Number four, St. Augustine, Florida. Today, St. Augustine is a bit of a tourist trap, but most of those tourists have no idea about its treacherous past. In 1837, Chief Osceola and 200 of his men were tricked into captivity at the Castillo de San Marcos during the Second Seminole War. He died after being moved to a prison in South Carolina, but his head was severed from his corpse and sent back to St. Augustine to be displayed in a drugstore. Countless other Native Americans were also in prison uh. at the same fort, which still stands today, including over 500 Apaches in 1886. But the disrespect didn't end there. In the mid-1700s, the Spanish actually built an entire hospital on an indigenous burial ground and performed all sorts of experimental procedures. Thousands of- Bro, the things that was happening back in the day, man, is actually mental, bro. The crazy stories that we got right now, this is mad. But I still want to know from people that live in these areas, because these are some populated areas right now. 
Um, is a creepy feeling in the air still today? Bones were discovered when parts of the building burnt down in 1818, and many guilt-ridden doctors actually killed themselves after witnessing so much suffering and death from their patients. Crazy. And I haven't even scratched the surface of the countless supposedly haunted locations that torment the oldest European U.S. settlement, such as the Huguenot Cemetery, which was created by necessity after bodies piled in the streets following the yellow fever outbreak of 1821, or the famous old jail where conditions were notoriously inhumane, with hundreds of deaths from illness and accidental treatments. What, uh, what, Number what, what do you mean accidental treatments? Three. Savannah, Georgia. Plagued by everything from hurricanes to fires to yellow fever and the selling of humans for profit, it's no surprise Savannah right. is often referred to as the most haunted city in America. I mean, it was literally built on the dead, with many buildings and roads sitting atop the graves of Native Americans and former slaves and colonists. And even if you don't believe in ghosts, the countless cemeteries, creepy old architecture, and lush overgrown vegetation with so much Spanish moss is sure to send a ship down your spine, especially on an overcast day. But while nearly I, I just need a list of like 10 not creepy places at all. And that's where I'm visiting, bro. I, I, I visited these creepy ass places, man. I ain't gonna lie. Every corner of Georgia's oldest city is haunted by some dark past. The most sinister of all paranormal lurkings is Factor's Walk where men once negotiated the price of cotton while the humans they enslaved to produce it were being transported through the tunnels beneath their feet. Though the tunnels are now mostly sealed, many visitors right. have reported ghostly specters and the sound of tormented groans through the cracks in the cold stone walls. Oh, no way. Number two, Salem, Massachusetts. Just about every New England town during the fall time feels incredibly spooky, but no place is quite as synonymous with the term as Salem. The year was 1692. Hundreds of residents were imprisoned during the Salem Witch Trials, with 14 women and 5 men ultimately executed under the accusation of witchcraft. One man in particular, Giles Corey, had rocks stacked on top of him until he was crushed to death. It's said that with what? his dying breath, Corey cursed the city and- No, that's mad! Bro, to kill someone you're putting rocks on him until he's crushed to death? Oh, that's wild, bro. Until he was crushed to death. It's said that with his dying breath, Corey cursed the city in George Corwin, the high sheriff responsible for his and many others' torture and death. And most of Salem has reportedly been haunted ever since. Now, I grew up Mad. just down the road in Boston and visited Salem quite often throughout my youth. And yeah, Proctor's Ledge, the now confirmed site of the hangings and unceremonious dumping of their bodies, truly feels eerie and perturbing. So the question is, is the unsettling darkness that envelops Salem the fault of Giles' alleged curse? Or was that a fable invented by the town to explain why they were haunted by their own guilt? Now before we get to number one, make sure you leave a like and a subscribe, otherwise I will scare you every single night! Alright, make sure you do that to me, and also him, his link is in the description. <laughs> but now get on with the video. I want to see where the most single ghosts are. Right, number, number one. one. New Orleans, Louisiana. Very little separates the living from the dead in New Orleans. Right. Literally. Most of the city is below sea level, so tombs actually sit above ground in the 42 cemeteries within the city limits. Many locals even wait, paint their porch above. Wait, 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 Literally. wait, 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 wait. Most of the city is... Wait, I've seen these kind of graves, but I didn't real. I thought... Yeah, what did I actually think? Oh, weird. I've seen them like movies and TV shows. It's below sea level, so tombs actually sit above ground in the 42 cemeteries within the city limits. Oh. Many locals even paint their porch roofs haint blue to repel the supposed spirits who wander the streets. And while nearly every inch of this incredibly unique city feels dreadfully haunted, the tale of the LaLaurie Mansion may just be the most grim. After a fire in 1834, rescuers found several bound slaves in the attic with signs of severe malnourishment, torture, and abuse. The owner, Madame Delphine LaLaurie, fled to France to avoid charges, but the wow. home remains one of the most unsettling places in the country. If you're someone wow. who doesn't think ghosts or the supernatural are real, a visit to New Orleans, and especially the French Quarter, might just change your mind. New Orleans. Let me know if you're from there. Let me know if it still feels creepy. I don't know, man. I don't know if I'm going to be visiting any of them places. I ain't going to lie. But <laughs> really good video. Enjoyed that. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it as well. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys did enjoy, just leave a thumbs up, subscribe for more content. I'm live every single day on Twitch.tv4 slash L3WG. If you guys want to check me out over there, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.